Maria Gallagher. I lived the 67th Women's Curcio in Danville. I grew up at the Decoria de Padre Pio, and I belong to Holy Name of Jesus Parish in Harrisburg. Thank you. And today we're continuing our discussion of the Leader's Manual. Specifically, we're talking about chapters 6 and 7. How do we make the rainbow possible? That's the question for today. Where are we? Well, we're at the School of Leaders. And remember, a movement is only as good as its leaders. So our Garcia movement is only as good as we are. Our leaders need personal aptitude, psychological maturity, authenticity, integrity, and the capacity for amazement. We must have a communitarian attitude and a capacity for friendship. That's really what Curcio is based on. It's based on the concept of friendship. We must demonstrate humility, justice, faith, hope, and charity, proficiency in group reunion, and attendance at Altrea. A brilliant statement. The school of leaders is to the Altrea what the team is to the Curcio. Once again, the school of leaders is to the Altrea what the team is to the Curcio. We should show fear of God, fear of being an obstacle instead of a conduit, maximum respect for others, true palanca, and a preparation for apostolic life. The purpose of the School of Leaders is to coordinate the leaders and key parts, to endow a heartfelt unity, and to promote and assure the authenticity and integrity of the Curcio movement in all three phases, pre-Curcio, Curcio, and post-Curcio. Now the leaders must live and understand the method in order to safeguard it. That's very important. We need to safeguard the method. We must be in a state of progressive conversion. Our conversion just didn't occur on our weekends when we made our Curcio. Our conversion is constant. We acquire the Curcio mentality and communicate it to others. We know and we live the royos from the weekend. And just having served on a weekend, I can tell you that reliving those royos really helps a lot. We revitalize pre-Curcio, Curcio, the Altrea, and the Secretariat. What the School of Leaders is meant to be. A place of spirituality, formation, and Christian community. The individuals form a Christianity in action. And in fact, that's the title of one of the Royos on the weekend, Christianity in Action. They serve the whole movement. They must be leaders in all phases of the movement, the pre-Curcio, the Curcio, and the post-Curcio. The format of the School of Leaders. We begin, as always, with prayer, asking God's guidance. We have the leaders' group reunion. We have a doctrinal presentation to keep leaders current on matters of the church then a technique presentation to keep leaders current on all matters concerning the Curcio method. Reports on pre-Curcio, Curcio, and post-Curcio, and announcements. We need the school of leaders because we need formation or study. We learn doctrine so we can provide witness. We learn social doctrine so we can advance it in the world. We show our compassion for our brothers and sisters and are generous in helping those in need. Now let's take a look at the diocesan secretariat. The Curcio is not an organization, believe it or not, but it does have organizational elements. The diocesan secretariat is of service to the entire movement. The members of the secretariat ideally come from the school of leaders. They should demonstrate competence, a spirit of service, understanding of the method, humility, wisdom, and sanctity. That's a tall order, but that's what we're called to do. Accountability. The secretariat is accountable to the bishop. It is responsible for the correct functioning of the school of leaders. It makes an annual report to the bishop 
and to the regional coordinator. The report includes the movement's status, achievements, and plans. The Secretariat has bylaws designed to live by. The lay director, Ms. Betty Berry, promotes a spirit of unity and sees that Secretariat members fulfill their duties, and she does that very, very well. The spiritual advisor, Father William Weary, oversees the spiritual needs of the Secretariat and of the movement. We strive for God's will instead of our own in all our undertakings. The Secretariat includes chairpersons for a school of leaders, pre-Curcio, Curcio, and post-Curcio, along with a treasurer and a secretary. Words to live by. Make a friend, be a friend. Bring a friend to the school of leaders and the Secretariat. We want this school to grow, but we need your help. You know, the School of Leaders grows through personal contact and through that personal invitation. We just had a Women's Curcio weekend, and so we should be inviting those women to come to School of Leaders and to be further formed in their faith and in the Curcio method and technique. But it's not going to happen unless we extend that invitation. De Colores. 